Hey, welcome back to the channel. I got to the shop today and I went ahead and rolled the second coat of brown right away so we can get that drying and it's actually drying um, really fast compared to the last video when it got to the evening when it was not drying fast at all. Uh, so uh, we got the headrest here. Um, I'm going to get this uh, fabric shrunk on here and then I'm going to put the finishing tapes on the uh, headrest and then we're going to be able to paint that whole thing brown and get it uh, primed and ready to um, assemble onto the uh, fuselage so that we can match up the uh, green and brown lines um, that are crossing it and that'll be sweet to get that um, on its way uh, yeah so beyond uh, beyond that we're just going to continue to work on the camo on the fuselage and get get that all um, squared away uh, I'll draw the green crossing over here and get the right side done obviously I've got the paint over there for doing the roundhouse and uh, gear legs are ready we can jump to the stab um, horizontal stab after we get the headrest done, and so we'll we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna get that shrunk, get some tapes on it, and um, and then we'll uh, keep going. Now, I was gonna mention that I actually really like uh, blending processes like this because you get to you get to do a little painting, and then you get to do a little covering. Um, I think it actually works out really well. It kind of breaks up the uh, long stretches of one thing. So um, I'm ready to put the uh, side um, camouflage on so I'm going to um, get that drawn out with a brush like I did before and then we'll get some uh, green rolled on here and uh, figure out exactly where that's going and then by then um, this will be dry and then I can put the I can put the tapes on the uh, headrest and that'll be getting closer to getting painted and meanwhile I'll probably uh, sandblast and prime the uh, brackets that hold the headrest on um, so yeah we got lots of little things so let me go ahead and get my brush and get this get this going here All right, so I just got a few little spots to, uh, a few little bubbles here to take care of. Um, blue on there. A blue on the iron there. bubbles to uh, take care of here. Alright, let's get a tape going here. And uh, this is going to seem really familiar to you because we've already done this a number of times. But uh, we're going to do it again anyway. So we 
get their little crease in there. Um, and then I just want to get a little bit of a mark as to where I'm going here. About there and about there. This kind of lets me see where where I'm going to put the glue. So it's on the edge. Okay, there Alright, so about an, obviously an inch away, since our tape's two inches, that makes sense, right? Tape on. I'm gonna wet it out. Wipe it off.
right, so I got my tapes. Uh, I got my tapes and reinforcements all on the uh, headrest here. Um, some reinforcements where my brackets go, um, and the tapes on the top. Which, if you're going to put your hand on something, it's definitely going to be up here. Um, and so that's now all I got to do is I got to hit the tape uh, pinking with the the iron, and then that'll be ready to. Uh, uh, prime and paint. The uh, gear legs are both ready to paint. Um, I've got the second coat, or actually the third coat of brown on right now, and I'm getting ready to um, do the last coat of green, and I think that's all the, that's as far as I'm going to be able to get from a temperature standpoint today, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that knocked out. Um, and then, uh, that will uh, that will wrap me up for the day. So, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me again. Um, step by step by step, we're getting there. So, and uh, every day it looks a little better. And today, I actually when I peeled the tape, and I got to see kind of where I moved the water line to on the bottom. This is going to look a lot better. So, um, uh, thanks, Flying Cup, for that tip. Um, it does look better. Yeah, and as always, I will catch you later.